Hey everyone. It's taken me ages to figure out this setup, so I finally got it right. And today I'm going to be filming basically all of my art supplies, everything that I have from my paints to my pencils to my sharpeners to my erasers, everything like that. So, yeah, let's get to the video. So it's basically like everything in here, like I keep my art supplies in this drawer down here but it's basically just everything inside here. It's like a box. Well it is a box, I don't know why I said it's like a box. But it's this box and it's all my art supplies. Everything's in here. Everything I use except uh, like my iPad and my uh, pencil are out on my desk charging all the time but everything else is inside here so I'm just gonna go through everything inside here from like what I use and just everything basically and if you hear any background noise that's because that's my cousin and my little brother downstairs they're being loud I've already told them I'm recording but oh well you can't my house is always loud so you can't always like tell everyone to be quiet just for you because that's kind of selfish but oh well um so my first thing and the latest thing that i got was these it's the himi gouache i don't know if it's gouache or gouache i think in america they say gouache but in Britain they say gouache because I remember my old art teacher said gouache and I was like what? I thought it was gouache so I'm not sure what it is okay but I got the Himi gouache I got it in green you can get it in three colours you can get it in blue, pink and green I got the green one and yeah uh, it comes with some brushes as well so you don't need to buy brushes uh, my nose is running hold on I don't know what to put this box but it's on my lap right now okay I'm back just a minor blip so yeah this is the most latest thing that I've got and added to my art collection uh you can see it and if I open the inside I mean I won't open the inside because all the paints will fall out I'll just record a, like a shot above it so and add it in okay the next thing out of no particular order because I remember this is the latest thing I got but now I'm gonna have to go out of order because uh, I don't remember which order I got everything in but uh, the next thing I have is these Faber Castle pencils. It's a set of 48. So there's one on top and one underneath. Uh, I got them from Costco. I got the gouache set from Amazon, but I got this from Costco. Uh, my mum got it for me as a gift. So I'm very thankful that she got this for me. I've hardly used them. Um, I used them at my new sixth form, but I hardly used them at my first college. Yeah, but um, I've used them at my first sixth form because we've had to use it for uh, quite a couple of things. So, like especially the introductory part of it. So. Yeah, that's been fun. The next thing that I have... Hold on, how am I going to do this? It's like I need to crop the video and then uncrop it again. Like I need to duplicate the video and then carry it on. But like I will film the top part of everything like so you can see the inside of it and add it on, if that makes sense. Now, 
this does count as my art supply, like part of my art supplies, but it's my palette. Uh, I used to use it just for watercolour, but uh, as you can see, it's been used for acrylic, oil, uh, yeah, acrylic and oil. I've used every single medium, I think, except uh, acrylid, I think that's what it's called. I've never, all oh my days, no way. Oh, there's still some fresh paint on there. Whoops. There's still some fresh paint on it, but um, yeah, I use this for pretty much all my painting, except watercolor now, even though this is what I first used for watercolor. I don't use it for watercolor anymore because it gets confusing when it's been used like this. So I use this for oil and acrylic paints. Uh, next, my favorite medium, uh, my watercolors. So it's this small little uh, packet, this small packet, and it's Windsor & Newton. I got this off of Amazon as well. Um, So, I think it's a set of two, 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 four, six, eight, sixteen. So a set of sixteen paints. Uh, two, four, six, eight. What? Two, four, six, eight. Yeah, sixteen. Sixteen. And I also got this eraser with it. Um, Oh no, if I'm gonna, can I set this right? Okay, yeah, there we go, whoops. Okay, that was unfortunate. I'll just grab it like this. Okay, I got this eraser with it. Um, it's a kneadable eraser. I've used it and 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 used it. <laughs> used it. I don't know if you can tell little focus yeah there we go I've used it so many times but uh, this is my main eraser that I use I did buy another eraser because I was so sick of using this for everything but it's supposed to go in here this also comes with a what does it come with again it comes with a brush like one brush and it's it, by itself but it's in my gouache set so I keep it in there but it also comes with this so that's my watercolors uh, next I have oil paints so uh, Let's hope this doesn't fall out. These are Dal Rowney, Rowney or Rowney paints. Uh, um, set of twelve. I forgot where I got this from. I think I got this from W. H. Smith. Um, I haven't had them for that long and I haven't used them that many times. I don't use these oil paints that many times uh, because like at my first college there were these amazing oil paints that we used but man I didn't know how expensive they were because I tried to buy them as well and I was like whoa these are expensive they're more expensive than regular oil paints they're water-based oil paints but I didn't know like what oil paint there was so I was just like I want to recreate one of my pieces and I couldn't because the oil the paint wasn't going on the paper properly and I was like what's happening and then I remember like I emailed um one of the old teachers there and I just asked like like what type of oil paint was it like and she, uh, she said water base and I looked up water-based oil paints and the price, like, okay. 
okay like I didn't expect that but it's more expensive than regular oil paints but I have water-based oil paints in here I will get them out in a minute but let's see what else I have I think I'll do one about my I was about to call them sources but they're not sources they're the <laughs> the paint fluids the fluids paint fluids I, I don't know what you call these um solvents and varnishes oh it's on the thing oh whoops it's on here it's solvents and varnishes so you have matte varnish if it will there we go and turpentine um i've got these two i used to have brush cleaner but that's ran out it, it didn't even run out actually it um spilled everywhere so yeah my brush cleaner's gone but these are the two that i have Uh, right. Oh, <clears throat> now my sketching pencils. Now these are the only sketching pencils I have. I've had this for about two years now, I think. Uh, yeah. So this is my go-to sketching pencils some of them are missing so i'm scared to open them to see how many are missing now let's see okay not that many are missing okay not that many are missing but some have been replaced by others but yeah my go-to kind of sketching pencil is the i know we're not supposed to <laughs> like i was taught not to but i still do it you're not we're not really supposed to use anything above the h grade because um the it's hard it indents into the paper and it, when you rub it out when you try to erase it um you can still see you can still like see the tr the marking the marking is left in the paper and it's just a real nightmare to deal with so you're supposed to use like anything above HB uh, anything above HB I mean anything below uh, so B anything with the B uh, you're supposed to use um, so when you erase it doesn't leave like a nasty mark if that makes sense um, <clears throat> but um yeah with this <laughs> I always use the H ones because I don't know why I just I feel more comfortable using that and then I press really lightly and so my go-to ones are H, 2H yeah and HB that's the range I stay within when I'm sketching so if you see my drawings on Instagram you'll notice that it's really light like that's why because it doesn't really like my older drawings they have really uh, not my schoolwork but my personal ones uh, they don't have a lot of tone in it at all actually and that's because I was just copying what was <coughs> That's because I was copying what was trending at the time. <laughs> like at the time, uh, light, uh, not really detailed sketches were uh, in trend. So that's why I did it. Uh, I think I've got one of uh, my liners. Aha, uh -huh, here they are. Oh my days, one's missing. Oh, I 
hate I hate this is torture going through this so these are my micron liners I've had this for four years hardly use them really I don't know there we go I've hardly used them um, I used them for my GCSE that's why I got them I got them for my GCSEs I used them for my GCSEs so yeah okay and pencil extenders it's gonna focus focus no there we go pencil extenders so I got these because my sketching pencils would be this tiny and I don't want anything to go to waste so I get the I got these and then I attached the pencil to the end of it and yeah um, uh, I use them uh, right now everything else is kind of scattered inside so I'm just gonna pick it out one by one I don't know if maybe it's better if I record it looking downwards so I'm gonna stop this recording and record the rest downwards or I might just hold it and no I'll record downwards so yeah right i feel like i should clean this desk because this desk is actually dirty and i don't like how dirty it is it's just really annoying me so yeah i'm gonna clean this because i don't like it so these are my oil paints the non-water-based ones uh they're in two four six eight colors I got uh, hold on I got these two separately because these didn't come with the pack but everything that's like the same size as each other came with the pack but it's in the colors for radiant hue cadmium red deep hue ivory black titanium white yellow ochre cadmium yellow pale hue uh, French ultramarine and burnt umber but yeah uh, um, these two came I bought separately from WH Smith but the whole thing from everything here uh, I got from WH Smith as well so yeah Right, I'm just re-recording this because my address was on one of the... Like, there was an envelope in here and my address was on it, so I'm just re-recording this. But, like, there's just random stuff in here now, but just a few paints left, so... Yeah. Right, so these are my acrylics. Um, I got these from Amazon. Um, I got them because I think okay let's be honest I was a bit crazy about um, making sure my quality of my paints were good so I always made sure the quality of my work was good so I always made sure the quality of the paints I got were good too so I got these instead of the ones the school provided for me um, yeah um, not saying that the school ones were bad, but, um, um, something about, I think it was something about the better quality ones would come, but not in time, so I decided to buy them instead. So, they're in the colours Ultramarine, Mars Black, Cadmium Yellow Hue, Yellow ochre, lemon yellow. You can see this. Cadmium red hue, burnt umber, emerald, 
uh, if this will focus. Ooh, that's crimson. Yep. And this one is one that I bought separately. Uh, if it would focus. Zinc mixing white. Because I couldn't find titanium white. So yeah, these are my acrylics. And finally, last but not least, my water-based oil paints. These are probably my second favourites. Um, because I made some really amazing pieces with these type of oil paints back at my first college. So, um, oh, the colours are French Ultramarine. Cadmium Orange Hue, Burnt Sienna, Magenta, Lemon Yellow, Lamp Black. How do you say that? For, for, for halo green, for halo green, I think titanium white, cerulean butte, blue hue, and cadmium red deep hue. Yeah. So yeah, these are my water based ones. Uh, they're like gold dust because they were kind of expensive. Um, so I don't really use them a lot. But yeah, they're my second favourites. So yeah. And with that. And that is literally in the pile along with everything else. But yeah, that's these are my supplies. Um <clears throat> oh last but not least my iPad. So my iPad, hold on, I really do think, hold on, let me just double check there's nothing on the notifications, I'm just clearing the notifications, but I'm just going to open it quick to check there's, oh it's me, <laughs> so yeah, uh, this is my iPad, it's a bit dirty and there's fingerprints all over it, but um, that's my lock screen. Uh, he's an artist, uh, Wallop. I think everybody knows him. Well, not everybody knows him because I didn't know him at first until I found out about him, but like, he's quite a popular artist. He does digital art, but like, um, yeah, um, I use Procreate, so I'm just going to open this up and go to procreate and yeah um, I actually transferred one of my pieces on here so that's one of my pieces that I did for school um, it's in water based oil paints so yeah uh, so I use Procreate and I have my Apple Pen as well, first generation I think it is, second generation is more expensive, I think the second generation one was 112, I got the cheaper one, uh, still works fine, it doesn't have the commands, you know where you tap the top and it changes stuff for you, it doesn't have that, but you charge it from the bottom you place it inside here instead of on the side with the second generation one where you charge it on the side yeah so I'm trying to get this back on now with one hand uh, oh I'm holding the camera with one hand and trying to get this on Okay, I give up. But yeah, uh, that's everything. Uh, that's literally my art supplies. 
Uh, if I move the lamp like this, you can see everything. But yeah, that's my art supplies. That's everything I use. Um, I don't use everything all the time, but that's literally it. So yeah. So yeah, uh, that's my art supplies, that's everything inside that box. Uh, yeah, so that's it for the video. Um, <laughs> just me going through my art supplies and everything that I use um, for my art. Um, some of my favourites, like I said, were my first favourite was my uh, watercolour, and second favourite was the water based oil paints. Third favourite, probably my sketching pencils, and those are my top three. Those are the top three that I use and go with, and uh, I use the sketching pencils the most. So, yeah. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, have a good day and stay safe. Bye.